won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Though shrouded in shadows, the child's resemblance to Daniel is unmistakable. This must be his dark half, warped by the curse. Go on, find someone else to play with. Spoil spoil. I'm not going back. I like it here. I've made a family for myself. I get to play all the time. You can't make me do anything I don't want to. I will let you. He's scarred. We'd better track him down if the shadows don't stop us first. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stop making fucking friends, bro. Why can't I just stay here playing? I had everything I've ever wanted right here, and you've ruined it. I'm not leaving. You can't make me. Be gentle. He's much more than a child, but he doesn't truly know that. So I wouldn't have to make up friends to play with anymore. I'd have someone real. I'd like that. And he would too, I think. All right, I'll do it. I want to do it. Well done. Are you crying? You're a bit thin to be crying. But I suppose that's okay. Bye. And thank you for playing with me. It's done, at last. Soon the land will be unshrouded. We should return to Thaniel when we can.
The druid Halson spoke to me while I was sleeping. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But there is one anchor still holding the shadows in place. The soul that brought it into being for the land to heal. Catherick Thor must die. Oak Father preserve you. Only by a reputation. She was present when we marched against Catherick Thorn, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. There is much to admire, judging by the stories. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the Grove? Controlled Korga? At least now we can benefit from her presence, and perhaps work to a common goal. Druids and Harpers joined together to put a stop to Catherick Thorn. We marched on Moonrise, and after much fighting, we prevailed. Even in defeat, though, Catherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, the Shadow Curse took hold. No one had seen the likes of it before. No one knew how to react. Then it started to claim all those within its reach. Those who had survived the battles now fell to the shadows, became part of the shadows. And worst of all, I lost contact with Thang. I wanted to try and find him, but we couldn't stay. We would have all succumbed. When the Archdruid of the Grove, my predecessor, was seized by the curse. I had to leave the survivors to safety. That was my first day as Archdruid. An inauspicious beginning. Indeed. I know that all too well. Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. Wherever you need me, I'll be right here. Ah, Hulsin is such a delight. Woe to the cultist who tangles with that thick hunk of an elf. That's the spigot. 